Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today we're doing an oracle card guidance. I know I'm really late this week, but I thought it would be nice to get it out anyway, even though it's quite, um, qu yeah, quite, quite late on in the week. And perhaps this guidance will help you in some kind of way. So um, yes, we are using the Ascended Masters uh, Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue. And I don't have anything for you to choose today. Just go ahead and, and choose a number between one, two and three. And I'll go ahead and begin the reading. So for those of you who've chosen the option number one, we are asking, what is your weekly Oracle card guidance? So for those of you who've chosen the option number one, you have the spiritual law of attraction and it's Melchizedek or Melchizedek. The card here is talking about being able to attract whatever it is that you desire, but to remain co consistent with what you desire and to understand the principles, to understand how it is that the law of attraction works and how it works in terms of spirituality and in connection to oneself. So to recognize that it's not just about what is what it is that you require, what it is that you desire, but rather that things need to come together in a bigger picture. And I feel here that the very first and most important message is that you need to adhere to the rules of uh, the law of attraction because if you don't then it's not going to work out the way you want it to and it feels almost like they are saying quite clearly that is the most important thing you need to actually ask yourself are you adhering to the rules of the law of attraction if it is that you desire something and you're trying to make your way through a certain uh, pathway have you actually adhered to the rules and so what are these rules of attraction well I think that um you know, you can Google that and take a look at that yourself. But I think here what is actually coming to the fore is that there's this emphasis on things need to work for everything uh, and for everyone. They needs to, it needs to be the right time. It needs to work in favor of all concerned. It needs to work in, in terms of the bigger picture. And it also needs uh, to be left to work as opposed to being like crowding over it or worrying too much about the outcome or thinking too much about the outcome. Sometimes it's just, you know, you're thinking too much about it because you're enthusiastic. Uh, but I think here uh, the emphasis is in trying to just be still and focused on what you desire and then leaving it, leaving it to actually manifest. There's another message in here that talks about how things will go on around you and how the world continues around you and that everyone is on their own path working um, within the law of attraction as well, whether they realize that or not, and that things will continue. And so to be cognizant of the fact that others who you may be close to are also manifesting according to what they are focused on and what they truly desire and just to be aware of that, because sometimes you may have a desire that includes them, but it actually isn't their desire or it's not compatible. So it's to be cognizant of that. There's this emphasis on the time being right. There has to be, the time has to be right in order for it to happen. The time has to be right in order to have done this reading. The time has to be right in order to start something new or to heal something old or to work in any given direction. And there's this great emphasis on it has to work in accordance with everything, including the time and including all the elements. And it reminds me a little bit of the butterfly effect, you know, and and talking about how we are all impact each other in some given way, uh, whether we know it or we don't know it, whether we're conscious of it or not. And uh, that's just the siren of the school that's right outside my place here. That's just kind of like a, a buzzer that signifies the end of a lesson or something. So just ignore that. Um, yeah, so there's this thing about how everything impacts us, whether we know it or whether we don't know it, and how to um, 
yield to that as well as how to welcome it, how to receive it. And there's a message here of receiving grace, of receiving gracefully, of taking in and allowing. There's also a message here of understanding when it is time to step back and to uh, hold back and to to hold back an impulse or to step back from an impulse. So today I feel uh, guided to read the message to you from the book as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, here's the book here for the um, that comes with this deck. And I don't know if it's in focus for you. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, take it closer to me and, and read this message to you. It says the, in the situation you're inquiring about has come to you via the spiritual law of attraction. You attracted certain people or situations because they mirror your thoughts, emotions and beliefs. In the same way, people and situations that once found desirable are now moving out of your life as you've shifted your energy through your spiritual path. Like attracts like means that everything and everyone that you draw into your life is similar to your thought patterns. If you want to change what or who you attract, hold more positive, loving and joyful thoughts. The Ascended Masters and Angels can help you with this shift. And then there's um, additional meanings for this card. You can change or heal the situation by elevating your thoughts to a more positive level. Your prayers and affirmations have attracted a wonderful new person or situation in your life. This situation is not a reward or a punishment. You have attracted it, which means that you can also repel or magnify it as you choose. Visualize and affirm only what you desire. So I feel after reading that message that I need to also mention that um, that right now uh, in this month of March is really a, a time where things are magnified. So if you have a certain thought, it's going to be magnified and put out there. It's almost like it's you know, on a loudspeaker, like you have your thoughts and it's a loud loudspeaker and it reverberates through the universe, you know, a calling, a desire, a wish. And so just to be aware of the fact that whatever your thoughts are, um, a single thought can determine how you move forward. And then to remind you to just focus on on being grateful and, and positive as you go along, even though you may have feelings of anxiety or upset or there may be some something that's negative, but not to focus on that, but to focus on on everything else. And then also to remember that uh, your thoughts have power, your words have power, your actions have power. So be cognizant and aware and conscious as you move through your life and, and um you know, and be aware of the actions that you're taking. All right, so I'm going to leave you with that. Uh, I think that is the whole of your message uh, there. And I hope that helps you as you go along, whenever you come to this message and as you go along in this week ahead. Lots of love to you all and many blessings. So for those of you who've chosen the option number two, we're asking, what is your weekly Oracle card guidance? And what is the message that you've come here to hear? What is it that you need to know right now? And how is it? That you need to proceed. Oh, it feels like it's this one. So the card we have is meditate for those of you who've chosen the option number two. And it's the Ascended Master, um, as named <laughs> by Doreen Votu, uh, Siddhartha Gautama Buddha. And so the card here is talking about meditation, but I feel like it's talking about going inward in order to be still and to be quiet and to be able to shift things, to be able to transform things in, in yourself, to be able to heal yourself through meditation. So the advice for you as you go along this week is actually to try to access yourself through meditation. So go within and see if you can shift something or move something uh, with meditation, uh, if you have a headache or if you have um, something um, something physical or physiological, something that you're trying to shift or move, you know, um, uh, try to work with it through meditation to see how it is that you can heal that or bring in light into that area or bring in some kind of wisdom within your body. So I think here... Um, 
there's a lot of joy and a lot of abundance awaiting, you know, a lot of a feeling of great joy, like childlike joy and, and purity and uh, just wholeness. And so I feel like the med- the meditate card here is referring to be uh, to being able to come back to a space of childlike joy, to be able to access that part of you that is not tired or jaded or, or cynical or, or just worn by life but to come to that part of you which is just really beaming with joy and excitement enthusiasm happiness um and to be able to feel that to be able to come to that space in you where that is still alive and uh so so perhaps to meditate into that or to just simply feel your way into that i feel also here that uh, there's a message that talks about how from that comes greater things from that uh that that feeling or that space that you can bring yourself into that vibration that frequency that you can be at allows you to um attract greater abundance in your life but not just uh, abundance um in terms of perhaps wealth or financial stuff but also in terms of opportunities or the ability to be able to bring people into your life that can help you to um, bring you to a place that you need to be at so whether it's help or healers or somebody who's a teacher in some way or somebody who's a companion or a friend who's just going to walk with you through this time to be able to bring you to where you need to there's just a serenity and a simplicity to this card and I feel like this week for you as you go along can really be that way as well it can really be very simple and just coming down to basics bringing things down to basics not um, complicating your life too much not doing too many things not being too busy but to be bringing yourself into a stillness okay I think here there's a sense of um of well of course divinity you know um but also a sense of being almost a newborn in terms of your energy um with a lot of possibility available and just bringing yourself back to that state of innocence so if you were to meditate this week i think it would be really good for you and if you were to do so then focus on bringing healing into yourself um, and trying to shift something, trying to transform something through healing in your meditation, or to be able to get in touch with that divine self, um, and to be able to get in touch with that innocence that you have within you, and that is underneath everything else that's um, been um, kind of clothing you at this moment, or uh, wrapping you up. All right, all right. So I know that's not a very long message, but I'm going to leave you with that because I feel that that basically sums it up for you uh, for this week. If you would like to add anything to that, if any of you have seen something in here for the number two that you'd like to add, uh, please do so in the comment section. Otherwise, I'd love to hear from you in the comment section. So please go ahead and say hi. All right. Lots of love, many blessings, stay safe and stay well. So for those of you who've chosen the option number three, we asking what is it that you need to know right now and what is the message that you've come here to hear what is it that you need to know that right now that's going to help you as you go along and um, bring you to the place that you need to be oops i think it's this one so we have power of joy and um the ascended master met maitreya or maitreya so maitreya is the the laughing buddha or the um I think it's called the whole time. I'm not really sure, but it, it refers to the the Buddha in the form of um, of bliss, in the form of um, a sort of bliss that brings a great deal of lightness, almost rolling over with laughter. And this energy right now has come to visit you in this week as you go along, and I would say that it stays with you for at least eight days. So from the time that you've uh, listened to this message, whenever that will be. I think that there is, um, it's almost like it's waiting behind a curtain, waiting to enter your life and and really ready to enter your life. It's almost like it wants to burst into your life and really be there for you and really embody you and almost occupy you. And so 
it's asking for permission to enter your life right now. This energy, which is there, is asking for permission to enter your life and for you to give it the allowance, for you to give it the space to be with you. It's not like you've got to serendipitously wait for it to fall upon you, but rather that you need to say, okay, I'm ready for this energy right now and I invite it into my life. And then it's going to take um, occupation of you. I think that you have come to a place where I feel like you might have gone through quite a bit or you've worked through quite a bit. It feels like there's tiredness or or um, some kind of strenuous um, feeling around you. And I think that now you can actually feel joy and you might find yourself humming or singing or just... Um, just being excited or, or happy as you go along and you might even wonder how did this lightness appear and where did it come from and right now is that time for it because I feel like you've prepared yourself for it you've gone through what you've needed to to be able to come out the other side and you've worked through something you might have had some kind of difficulty or some kind of illness or a breakup or some kind something that would have taking you away from that power of joy, taking you away from that inner um, laughter, from that lightness that you already possess. But right now you're being returned to that space that you've previously inhabited and that's previously been a part of you. So I feel here there's an emphasis on um, looking at the brighter side of things and feeling that happiness as you go along in this week and just really looking for that if you if it's not coming your way if you feel like it's not actually there in your life at the moment then to really bring it into your life really invite it into your life and um, make space for it make make the space for it because it feels like it needs to infect you and occupy you and take all over you and to take that seriousness away or that weight of responsibility away from you. And so I feel here that this, this Buddha is actually, he's bringing you this energy or this this um, kind of spirit is, is, is offering you this energy and it's yours for the taking. I'd like to go ahead and actually read the message that's in the, the book um, which comes along with this um, with this deck. And so I, I did that for the first option as well, but not for the second. But I feel compelled to do that here. So it reads, To find your desired outcome, follow the path of joy. Your life's purpose is supported by the joy and passion you feel when you are thinking about or working on your purpose. The joy that you feel within relationships keeps them alive exciting and growing. The joy that comes from your hobbies gives you extra energy. Of all the emotions, joy is the highest vibration. Joy has the power to remove all obstacles and attract all of your needs. Joy reminds us that we needn't suffer at all. We can fulfill a pur our purpose, help ourselves and others and heal through the power of joy. The additional meanings for this card and it reads stay positive and filled with faith to manifest your desires into reality find the humor in the situation enjoy a good laugh develop hobbies that bring your, you pleasure to find your life's purpose do what brings you joy so there's another message that comes through there for me it's it's that or the one that was highlighted for me there it's really find the laughter find the funny side of every situation and understand the, the comedy in this reality or the joke in all of this. And I think there's something else as well. You know, just allow yourself to feel where it is that you're most comfortable and where it is that you're most at ease and follow that, follow that. So if, you know, you're most at ease while taking a jog, then do that. If you're most at ease while just, um, you know, relaxing in front of the uh, a movie or something like that, then do that. But uh, it's about finding yourself just being at ease in order to be able to allow the power of joy to take over and to 
um, overwhelm you in a way and only good can come from that. All right. So I'm going to leave you with that. I hope that has been helpful and I'm wishing you a blessed uh, end of the week or the rest of the days of this week. And um, yeah, I just want to say I'm sorry again that I haven't been able to get it out on the Sunday. And in future, if I'm not able to get it out on Sunday or Monday or even Tuesday, I'm just going to get it out at some point of the week just for those loyal subscribers or uh, those loyal um few couple of hundred of you that come to this weekly oracle all right so sending you much love and wishing you a blessed week blessings abound from kismet rising